Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to part three and the finale of Choo Choo Charles. I'm starting here because I saw this house on the coast side, and I thought I wanted to go check it out. And as a matter of fact, well, I'm not lying, that's exactly how we're going to be kicking off the start of this video. And I believe it's down this away. So in today's video, we have a few things we need to do. Uh, number one, we have to finish all of the NPC missions. There's about three of them left. Sorry, I thought I heard Charles, and I was like, I sh do I need to go back to the train? It was not him. Number two, we need to actually confront, fight, and murder the hell out of Charles. And number three, just for the completionist in me, I want to also find all of the paint cans. Knock, knock, is anyone home? Ooh, there's a chest, hello. Kablamo. 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 Oh, shoot, I missed it. Boom, boom, boom. Got it, nice. Whole bunch of scrap. At this point, I don't think I need them, but we'll take them. Someone from the mob just spotted my raft, so I uh, can't risk waiting for you. They'll be back any time now. I'm sorry I couldn't take you along with me, but know with certainly certainty that I'll send help back to evacuate you and everyone else from the island as soon as I reach the mainland. With love, Diane. Diane, you suck. You left me here to die. This doesn't look pleasant. Hey, now wait a second. No, this doesn't, this doesn't look right. Now, hey, wait a second. Um. Diane? Oh, no, Diane. I'm assuming this was me and not you, but still, Diane, you <laughs> caused this. You left me on this island to die with the... With the spider train. That's just crickets. That's not a giant spider train. That's just crickets. Anyways, how about we now actually start our missions for this video, which includes going out to this NPC right here. Ooh, do we think I can get to the center of this lake? <gasps> it looks like there's something on there. I'm, I'm sure as hell gonna try. And you are a witch. You are a witch. Well, Lisbeth guy. Murkwater. Hello. Don't I cook me and eat me. Wonderful. But I don't have any meat at the moment. You're not eating me. I smell a carcass on the island in the swamp. Okay. And if you wait over there and bring it back for me, I'll pay you some scraps. Although, you'll need to be wary of Barry. Barry, the swamp monster. I can't tell if you're capping. For him splashing around. And don't move if he gets close to you. As long as you stand still. He's as kind as a kitten. Barry the Swamp Monster. <laughs> right, yeah, no, of course. How how silly of me to assume there wouldn't be Barry the Swamp Monster. Anything in here? A note. Tasty, yummy, Sue recipe. Swamp water, salt, clover, dirt, salt, meat, any kind, human included, hehe, <laughs> and more salt. Barry, are you in here? Oh. Is this Barry? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hey, Barry. Go away, kindly. Oh, my God. This is gonna suck. I have to get all the way over there, I'm guessing? Oh, wait. I don't want to go over there now. You just go out that way, Barry. Oh, wait. I made it. Wait, that's huge. Is this the... Oh, it's a fish. Oh, return to Lisbeth Murkwater. Awesome, wonderful, glorious. Anything else on this island worth noting? Just some scrap. Okay, back to... Back to you. This is very nerve-wracking. Because I'm sure... If I die, and I get teleported back to my train, I might still have the fish. But at this point, I don't know if it's worth, you know, risking that chance. Okay, who back on land. Hey, I got your dead carcass. It's a fish. What a delicacy you found. Thank Here you. Are those scraps I offered. Appreciate that. Night, little one. Thank you for not killing and murdering me. And murking me. <laughs> Get it? It's a pun on, on your... Not only the swamp, but also your last name. Anyways, our next NPC is just up here, this way. So I gotta back up a bit with my train. Oh, what a nice house you got here. 
Hello, Sonny. You must be the archivist. Tony <laughs> Tittle? Your name is Tony Tittle. We're happy that came to help us out of this predicament with Charles. That's a terrible last name. I'm sorry. I can't get over that. You know, that old train of yours will need some major upgrades if you want to take down Charles. Brother, have you seen my train? It's fully upgraded to the max. Well, some metal scraps in my barn that you could use to I literally them. don't need them. Here's the key to the barn. It's just up a path, but I'll mark it on your map anyway. I mean, thanks, but I, I seriously do not need them. An issue I have with this game is that because it's open world and you can go to any NPC first, all of them oftentimes have either a repeating dialogue of needing to fight Charles or just dialogue that doesn't make sense where where you are at compared to the game. My train's fully upgraded, and yet he's like, sheesh, I mean, you gotta, oh, hello. Uh, supply list, chicken food, goat feed, uh, fencing supplies. Well, scratch all that. No need to feed or fence animals that have already been eaten. Yeah, I suppose, you know, fair play to him. Yeah, it just, it's a small little nitpick I have with this game. Otherwise, it doesn't affect me too, too much. Like, <laughs> I understand why it happens. It's just... Oh no, something that could maybe be improved. Even though Eugene has promised to send help once he reaches the mainland, I've just realized he never mentioned if he'd return. I suppose he is the type of person to ignore the fine details of a plan. Everyone on the island is trying to find a way out of this mess, and I can only hope that this archivist friend of his can work with some magic. Can work some magic. <laughs> not worked with- I'm not a wizard, okay? I don't care what strange things they've done before or what practices- <laughs> practices they use. Maybe I am a wizard. I don't, I don't freaking know. As long as Charles ends up dead. Most folks around here want the same, but then there are those crazies that want to leave him be. That darn Warren has lost his marbles. Is that so? Was that seriously the whole quest? Wow, okay. We're blazing through these NPCs. All right, final one up ahead. Yeah, I know a big talking point about this game is the IGN review it got, <clears throat> which was a 4 out of 10, which I don't agree with. I have a lot of nitpicks with the game, um, mainly the fact that it's like a $20 game, and from what I've seen, it's about a 2-3 to three hour traditional playthrough. Of course, I'm taking my time with it, making sure I get all the paint cans and also recording, so... I'm going a bit slower, but I do hope at some point in the future, it does get updated with uh, maybe a few more details like more quests, or I think something that could be really cool is like a seasonal time uh, where it could like be snowing at some points, it could be raining at some points, maybe a thunderstorm, uh, some dynamic weather I guess is what I'm thinking of. Small things like that. Anyways, hello lady. The Pickle Lady. I feel like I saved the weirdest NPCs for last. I ate the last jar of pickles I had in my house. And there's only one jar of pickles left on the island. My secret jar of pickles. Locked away inside my pickle cave. Your pickle cave? Dude, is everything pickles with you? Yeah, no, this makes total sense. All right, where's your cave? Oh, that's like so far out in the middle of the open. Ooh, some more paint. Well, don't mind if I do. I need more paint anyways. Anyways, this is the pickle cave. Uh, do I just need to open this chest? Pickle pickles, pick, 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 pickles from pickle. Title was also pickles. I really, really hope I don't find pickles in this box. Shoot. Shoot! I feel like keeping them in a chest like this in a freezing cold dark cave can't be good for the pickles. Wow, that's a giant jar of pickles. Return to pickle lady. I got your pickles. The pickle mission. <laughs> I don't like that title. Appreciate that. Anyways, I'm- is that all the NPCs? I feel like- I think that's actually all of them. So before we go fight Charles, I do want to find the rest of the paint cans. It looks like I'm only missing three. So 
Frankly, I'm gonna look up a guide on where these things are, because I do <laughs> absolutely am not searching every square inch of this gigantic island for some paint cans. Oh, it is raining. Well, there's that dynamic weather I was talking about. I didn't even realize that. Anyways, apparently there is a pink paint can up this building? Or somewhere around this building? There's a telescope, too. Let's open this chest. There's a few scraps up here, too, so not a bad loot, uh, looting area. Nice. There it is. Pink. Warren has had us watching the boulder field for nearly a week, but we haven't seen anything peculiarly interesting. Particularly. <laughs> Why did I say peculiarly? We see Sasha walking through the area on occasion, and Charles occasionally makes an appearance, but Warren hasn't been interested in these things. He won't tell us what we're looking for, just to document everything, and let him know if we see anything, quote, interesting. Warren, you certainly are interested in yourself. I can't use that. What does pink look like? Oh, how wonderful! Oh, how cute! I shall keep that on. I actually kind of like that. Anyways, two more. Here's the gray paint can. Right down here near the docks. And all that leaves left is the red paint can. Which I've figured out where it is. And by that, I mean I looked it up. And I don't like where it is. Hey, remember that chest in the last um, <laughs> mine we went to? And it was on the way out, but you're being chased by a dude. And I'm like, I really want that. Maybe he won't know I'm here. Shoot. Oh my god. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, backing up. Backing up, backing up, backing up. I'm praying I can shoot him through here. Looks like I can. I can't see him though. Oh my gosh. Just leave me be! I can't even see you! It's not really fair, Charles! Okay. Ooh. I did get him down to, like, half health. That was pretty good. Oh my god, I did it. No way, bro. Oh, please, let me get it. Please don't come down here. This is the last paint can I need. Okay. <gasps> I'm out. I'm outy. Let's go! Alright, that's all the paint cans. Look at red. Oh, red's actually really sick. Oh, red's cool. But I, I gotta, I gotta rock pink. You kidding me, bro? You can't. This is the manliest color there is. So now, <laughs> I think we just go fight Charles. I mean, there's probably a few secrets I'm missing around the island, but other than that, I think we're set. All right, here we are. This is the big shrine, and there's people guarding it too. So we gotta be careful. Ooh, like that guy right there. Let's sneak around this way. I'm hoping I can just run up. Which is exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Ooh. This is where I put the eggs, huh? So this is it, huh? The end of Charles. One egg. Second egg. Oh, dude, something's gonna happen on the third one. Warren! Oh, shoot! AJ's playing Project Playtime. <laughs> Just put the egg down slowly and lay flat on the ground. You'll hurt far too many people if you follow through with whatever your plan is. Oh, shoot! Oh, hell yeah! No! No! You fools! You do this all! Hey, big boy! Oh, God! Oh, no. Yeah. He consumed the power of the eggs. All right, get on that train, bro. Let's get out of here. 
Crikey, let's get out of here. Oh my god. Do I have to actually knock all hell Charles? Oh shoot. Burn hell. Oh, this is going to be a very laggy boss fight. Boom. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, he's teleporting all around. Whoa, now how's that fair? Let's heal up. Let's get Bob. Come on, Bob. Oh my god. What the heck's going on? <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? All right. Woo. Dude, Bob is a godsend. Oh my god. Woo. I think he's teleporting me all around the island. Or he's teleporting. He's over halfway dead. Which is good. I'm praying this isn't lagging too, too much. Oh my god. He's moving all over the place. He's schmoving. Okay. Ooh, he packs a punch. Woo. Man, he really doesn't like the rockets. He's almost dead. Oh my god, he's so close. Come on, let's finish him. Oh, he's so close. Just die, you stupid spider train. Here, take another rocket. Okay. Come on, one more, one more. Yes! No? Maybe? Oh. Boom! That didn't do anything. Boom! Oh, the bridge! Oh, adios, bro. Respect that. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and that's how he goes out. Oh, what a beautiful way to end it, dude. My God, that was awesome. Hey, yo, wait, why do I still hear a train whistle? <laughs> he's dead, right? Surely he's dead. What? Is there a second Choo Choo Charles I don't know about? What the heck's shaking my screen? And why is there a train whistle going on? Oh, shoot, post credit scene. Is that another egg? <gasps> there, there really is a second Choo Choo Charles. I was trolling. <laughs> oh god, is it hatching? Oh shoot! Wait. Damn. Guess we didn't get all the eggs, huh? Oh my god, wait, are those all eggs? Oh, oh wow. We really didn't get them all. Wow, we were like so not even close to getting all of them. That's real unfortunate. <laughs> oh no. Choo Choo Charles 2, here we come. Wow. And I guess that truly is not the end of Charles. Well, there we go. That's everything done in Choo Choo Charles. Overall, that was a really fun game. I'm definitely going to be replaying it. Just honestly, I just love going around on the train. Like, I don't really care about the side missions. I think it's just because I really like trains. But I just love driving around on the train, which I know at some points in the video was pretty laggy, which again, I'm sorry. But this was really fun. That was a really satisfying ending. Um, and I guess there's still more to come. Again, I do hope they do more updates with this game instead of hopping into... Uh, whatever is going to be for the post credit scene, whether it be a second game or DLC or whatever. Um, for a $20 game, I, 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 I'm kind of hoping for a few more free updates every now and then. I got my money's worth because, again, I took my time. I was recording. I got everything possibly done in the game. But usually it's like a two to three hour playtime, which for 20 bucks is kind of pushing it. But overall, again, that's a pretty small nitpick because, like I said, I got my time out of it. I got, you know, I'm satisfied with the price I paid. I'm just saying I know a few other people are pretty, you know, 
eh, meh about that. But other than that, again, a fan freaking tastic game. Absolutely huge congratulations to the people over at Two Stars. It feels nice to have a <laughs> indie horror game because I believe it was mainly made by uh, uh, one person. It feels nice to have an indie horror game that doesn't immediately go into capitalizing on their brand. But yeah, this was this was a fun game. I really am looking forward to what they do next with the franchise. Again, it seems like they're setting something up. Again, DLC, maybe a new game. That'd be cool. But that's going to do it for this episode and playthrough of Choo Choo Charles. Tell me what do you think about the game and its ending, and what do you think is going to happen next for the franchise in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.